everyone. Good evening. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me throughout my journey for my apprentice black belt. At first, at that, I thank my mom and dad for everything because of their love, care, and driving me to class every week, even if they have a, even if they had a busy schedule. They helped me come to class and learn something new, especially when there was a pandemic and everything was online. They helped me attend my classes. I remember they would wait outside of school for my classes to complete. They are my team members, and without their help, my path would not be successful. I am grateful to Xi'an for this journey because he always helped me become stronger than before. He, motiva he motivated me by providing feedback and advice to train and get ready for belt testing. There were several, several events when I struggled and felt like I could not complete the challenges, and I wanted to quit. It, it was during the pandemic that I felt demotivated. Also, when I started training for my apprentice black belt, I felt very tired and exhausted. A two-mile run in 20 minutes, board breaking and sparring was the hardest out of everything. The only mantra I had in mind was, yes, I can. And I focused my 100% effort, the same attitude I carried out in school, studies and sports, which helped me achieve the best. And finally, I also thank all my friends in class, which whom I worked with, worked. You all helped me get stronger. The advice I can give you at this stage is to give your 100% effort and no matter, you will achieve your goals. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Mom's turn. I told you you were doing it. There's no surprise here. <laughs> So real quick while she's getting ready. Adrian, how old are you? Sure. Who's around 10 years old? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's all of you, right? So what's the only difference between you and Adrian? He started a couple of years earlier than you, right? So that's important. I'll let you put that in with your... <laughs> okay. This is the hardest thing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. Congratulations. First of all, congratulations on your hard work. Here's everyone sitting here. Like every other mother, I feel I'm feeling very happy, proud, and lots of. Last bell testing, I was sitting on the other side and listening to everyone. The last four months, Adrit worked very hard to train his body as well as his mind to prepare for this bell testing. There were several many events, as he mentioned. He was struggling and like most prominent was during pandemic and during the process of the training. The board breaking, I felt, was the hardest part okay and there was a moment during the testing on the saturday that i felt like i had a doubt in my mind and because whatever we planned and we practiced everything did not work out accordingly but adrit just keep on going through it and he gave his 100% effort and focus so the advice that you I can give you at this moment and you can follow in the karate and outside that that keep on going through the best effort you can give and success will follow your path. Last but not least, thank you, Sihan, for all your hard work and making Adrit a positive thinker and a confident boy. And I also thank everyone in the class who has worked with Adrit to make him successful and bring to this moment. Thank you. Oh. Then you're gonna keep that. All right. So everybody's gonna turn around, face mom and dad. Yes, sir. So. Good. Have a seat. Relax. All right. So as you can see, right, black belt is a path of journey. It's about three and a half years minimum. 
in 30 years of working with children, I have never had a student go from white to black without hitting the I want to quit stage. It happens. It's what I call the parent test. They're testing you to see if you are going to be, you know, hold to your guns and make them reliable until they get it. Right, Shavash? When was your quit stage? Okay, so just before black belt testing. Right before. We have students quit. Right? Black belt testing starts in January. We had two students quit. What message are you teaching them? All right? So I know I'm preaching to the choir because you guys are here, but just kind of keep that in mind. Right? Christy and I are both here that if you, when, not if, when you reach that stage, reach out. Hey, I'm starting to get some resistance about them coming. Great. So are we. <laughs> all right? I see it all the time. And it's perfectly natural that they're going to wave and waver on their interest and their desire. But it's times like this that we want to get that remotivated. So what you're going to do is you've got one minute. You're going to speak to your kids and tell them everything that they're doing now that they weren't doing eight weeks ago that you are super proud of. Ready? And go. <laughs> Thank you. 